So I'm sitting here in the press conference room at Emirates Stadium. It's been a good few hours now since the full-time whistle went here against uh, against West Ham. Finished West Arsenal one at West Ham nil. Massive, massive win. This for Arsenal. They weren't at their best. I'm sure you've all seen it, and if you haven't, you will have read about it, and you'll see it soon. Um, they weren't great. They didn't play anywhere near as well as they could do, but they got the job done, and that was the most important thing. Here is three Premier League wins in a row now for Mikel Arteta's side. It's the first time this season they've done that, which kind of says a lot about the season they've had. Um, and it leaves them just three points off fifth place as we speak at the moment, which obviously might well be enough for the Champions League spots. We'll have to wait and see on that come the end of the season with what happens to Manchester City with their impending UEFA ban. Um, but at the moment, Arsenal can't really think about that. As Arteta has said before today's game, it's all about taking things game by game really and just trying to edge their way back up the table and um and they're doing that now with three Premier League wins in a row nine points from nine now this wasn't a good performance it wasn't a great performance but it was you know they showed good character and mentality to stay in it they got a bit of luck along the way Mikel Antonio should have scored at least two goals should have set up one for Sebastian Haller as well West Ham will count themselves will be feeling very unlucky uh, they're heading back across the capital with nothing to show from it from this this performance because they were decent West Ham, they sat back, they gave Arsenal all the possession, then looked to hit them on the counter-attack or from set pieces. And if they were more clinical when they should have been, they probably would have got at least a point, maybe even three out of this one. But it is, as it is, they got none. And that's thanks to Alexander Lacazette's goal, 12 minutes from the end. Lacazette, who came on for Eddie and Ketia, half an hour in. Three goals in four, in four games for Lacazette now. He said he's had a really difficult season, but he's beginning... You know, he's, he's beginning to chip in, he's beginning to score the goals that you'd expect him to score. And I think it's nine for the season now, which still isn't enough for a player of Lacazette's quality. But like I said, he's been struggling, confidence has been low. But today, this was an important goal for Lacazette. It was a massive goal for Arsenal. It actually didn't stand initially, it was chalked off for offside. Um, Meza Ozil was flagged for offside in the build up to it. But it went to VAR, and they checked, and they checked, and they checked, went on for about three minutes. And in the end, the correct decision was made. I mean, why they didn't make it straight away? Because you could see pretty much on the first replay that Ozil wasn't in so offside in the build-up. Um, it was like, it was a Bamiyang shot it looped up in the air and um, it found Ozil in space and he did a nice little cushioned header to Lacazette who volleyed it in for the goal. And it was Ozil that was offside in the build-up, but you could see he wasn't from the first replay. But as I said, typical VAI, it went on, it went on, it went on. The Arsenal players were all waiting in the centre circle, the West Ham players were all waiting, just everyone staring at the referee, waiting for the signal. And um, It kind of summed up at Lacazette season, really. He wasn't given the chance to actually celebrate the goal properly at the time, because um, it was such a big goal and it would have been some real excellent celebrations, but in the end they had to wait and it sort of built the tension up. Um, and then, yeah, there were the celebrations when the referee gave the signal that the goal had indeed stood. And um, it was a big it was a big goal for Arsenal and they held out for the last 10 minutes a little bit nervy there was five minutes of stoppage time as well and you never quite felt comfortable that they were going to see it see it out West Ham had a couple of late free kicks and swung the ball into the box a couple of times but Arsenal did well and Leno did well again as usual um I thought Bernard Leno was excellent made a couple of great saves especially one from Antonio's header in the second half which was really really good and you know Arsenal have relied on Leno an awful lot this season and they did it at times again today and Proving to be an excellent sign and an excellent goalkeeper. Got to be one of the best keepers in the league. Goes up, goes underrated, I think. I think because of Arsenal's issues defensively and the amount of goals they concede, they concede that people don't really give Bernd Leno the credit he deserves. And he's had such a good season. Certainly shot-stopping-wise, there's few better in the Premier League than him. Goes under the radar, I think. Danny Ceballos, I thought, was excellent again today. Playing next to Granit Xhaka, I thought he played really well. Controlled the game, controlled the midfield. Got Arsenal moving and... In an otherwise fairly pedestrian Arsenal performance, I thought Ceballos really stood out in the centre of the park. He's just got a lot of quality about him. He's playing very well at the moment, deserving of his spot in the team next to Granit Xhaka. And um, I thought it was another good performance. Mikel Arteta speaking after the game, he was, you know, he said he was happy with the mentality his side showed and the character that his side showed. He admitted they weren't at their best this afternoon, but they got the job done, and that's what he was happy with. And, he had a lot of good words to say about Lacazette. He said he could tell in the, on the touchline when he was talking to Lacazette, getting ready to send him on, he could tell that he was determined to come on and make the difference. And obviously that's what Lacazette did. Arsenal head to Manchester City on Wednesday night now for that hastily rearranged Premier League game. Um, it's not going to be easy <laughs> against the Premier League champions. That's a, that's a given. I think they're going to have to put, certainly play an awful lot better 
than they played today. It'll be interesting to see if um, if Arteta sort of changes the formation a little bit. Without Pablo Mari, made his first Premier League start today. He played really well at Pompey, I thought, in the FA Cup. Given a lot more tests today, Mari, um, as you would expect <laughs> against a Premier League team, and especially a Premier League team with a strike force of Antonio and Haller, who are very strong, you know, very powerful forwards. And um, he played alongside Luis, but I thought he did all right. There was a couple of couple of moments where maybe the pace of the game caught him out a little bit, but that's to be expected in his first Premier League start. Um, but I thought on the whole he did all right, and he, his passing was good, and we all know that about him. That's why, how he sort of came over here and was sold to us. That he was a very good his distribution was excellent, and um, and I thought he did well today, as did Luis next to next to him against the team. You know, West Ham they might be down the bottom of the problem, but they're going to cause a lot of size problems with that strike force. When when Antonio's fit, West Ham are a completely different side. Didn't have the best of days in terms of finishing today, Antonio, but such a handful. He's so powerful and. You know, he's a good, good player and he causes defenders all sorts of problems. And um, it's going to be a very different um, sort of test for Arsenal on Wednesday night against Man City and the quality they have up front. But, um, you know, that's for another day. Today, I thought they just about got the job done and um, they can have a very uh, sort of very nice end to the weekend in this one. Press conference wise this week, got, there's one on Monday at London Colney. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm, uh, I'm not around on Monday. Um, Arteta's had one in month, sort of mid-afternoon on Monday before the team makes way up to Manchester for that game on Wednesday night. Important for Arsenal, just not, I think, to go in and put a decent performance in up at the eight. He had, I think, most people would expect Manchester City to win, but yeah, you never know. But I think it's just more for Arsenal just to go there and you know put in a decent sort of showing because they've certainly improved. They're edging out wins. You know, this this was a game they wouldn't have won earlier in the season. No chance they would have they would have lost this game. They wouldn't have got three points, but they did it ground it out, they show character, and they've done that a lot in recent months. Let's go back to that game with the 2-2 against Chelsea, the 10 men, the way they fought back twice in that game. You know, There's more and more signs that this team's got something about them. There was obviously the big blip at Olympiacos. It was such a huge disappointment for everyone. But again, the way I think they've responded from that with a win at Portsmouth, the win here today, um, deserves a lot of credit because they were on their knees after that, Port after that Olympiacos game. They really were, and they've picked themselves up now, and they've... You know, they've given themselves a chance to continue to chase those European spots, those champ the Champions League spots. You know, the Champions League football would be so massive, so massive. They're still the underdogs, no mistake about it, but they've given themselves a chance with this little winning run they're putting together. Whether they can continue that at Manchester City, we'll have to wait and see. But for now, it's been another good weekend for Arsenal.